take it over to Aditya Agarwala who's joining us. Aditya, how is your positioning right now in the market? Because it's about large caps, let's start with Nifty and Bank Nifty. Uh, good afternoon, Ajay. Thanks for having the show. Uh, and clearly, in our markets, uh, sell in May and go away doesn't hold true, to be honest. If you uh, go and check historical evidence, most of the times markets have ended in the positive territory in the month of May. Having said that, markets uh, do get into a volatile phase in the month of May without a doubt. But that, again, uh, leads to a good, strong buying. Now, coming to uh, what, what is my take on the Nifty and the Bank Nifty, uh, you're absolutely right. This market has been taken by surprise. <clears throat> Nobody was expecting such kind of a sharp up move, both in the Nifty and the Bank Nifty. Uh, we're almost on the verge of uh, making a fresh all-time high on the Nifty. My sense is uh, we will make a new all-time high, uh, maybe in trade today or tomorrow. And uh, from here, we can uh, latch on to levels of 22,900 or maybe 23,000 as well. <clears throat> But again, from there, uh, we can see a bit of selling pressure uh, because, Ajay, if you take a look at uh, the way markets have been behaving, uh, every time it makes a new high, uh, we don't see a runaway rally in the market. Uh, market uh, does go up uh, by a percent or two. And from there, again, it retraces back and test levels of 22,000 or 22,200. Uh, I think a similar will be the order this time around as well. I don't see markets will see a runaway rally post uh, a new high as well. And the same holds true on the bank nifty as well. 50,000 on the upside will act as a major hurdle. That happens to be a trend line resistance on the upside. If I draw major highs uh, from, from uh, key levels, <clears throat> I get an upward sloping trend line. And bank nifty will face resistance at 50,000 on the upside. So uh, 23,000 on the nifty and 50,000 on the bank nifty are two major levels that I'll watch out for. And I believe markets will uh, face some kind of a resistance around those levels uh, and can see a bit of uh, profit booking from there. Uh, if I can add, uh, what is also surprising is the way VIX has been moving for past two trading sessions. Yesterday, it was up some 13% in trade, despite the fact that uh, markets uh, were up as well. And uh, today also, VIX is uh, showing a bump up of at least uh, 3 to 4%. This is not a usual thing when markets are also heading to a new all-time high and VIX also is rising. Uh, so this clearly shows that uh, this move has been taken by surprise. Uh, there was a lot of uh, short covering uh, in, in the uh, options as well, uh, which has taken place, and there's a pickup in the option premium as well. Uh, so this clearly shows that uh, this move is, has been a surprise, and uh, do watch out for this elevated levels of wicks, because uh, if that happens, it continues to rise from here on, it can also lead to some kind of a choppiness and a correction in the market. All right, so that's uh, the view coming in on the VIX and the way how the markets are headed, or, or rather when Nifty and Nifty Bank in particular. Very good afternoon to you, Aditya. Cheryl also joining in the conversation. So which are the sectors that you're finding uh, are, are better or the safer uh, spots at this point in time? Today you have auto sector actually back to winning ways. You have m, &M that's among the top gainers in the Nifty. You have the two-wheeler majors. Also in anticipation of what's going to happen when you talk mm -hmm. about the April sales in particular. But which is that sector that you, are, uh, you believe is a standout uh, candidate right now for one to park their money in. Afternoon, Cheryl. Uh, uh, there are pockets and, and large cap pockets, as Ajay has also pointed out uh, at the start of the show, which I think is outperforming and will continue to outperform. Auto for one, you mentioned uh, clearly, I think uh, there is more room on the upside in the auto space and uh, there are pockets uh, which can be looked at. Uh, look at the commercial vehicle space. That is one segment which is showing good traction, be it an Aisha Motor or an Ashok Leyland. The kind of run-up you have seen in Ashok Leyland uh, this week, uh, the previous weekend and in trade uh, today has been phenomenal. And Aisha Motors has also been inching, high, inching higher closely. Uh, so the, both these stocks are looking very attractive to me still, uh, Aisha Motors and uh, uh, Aisha, uh, and Ashok Leyland, uh, with a disclaimer that these stocks have been recommended to our clients as well. And I believe this space will continue to dominate uh, the auto space. Uh, talking of... Uh, Passenger vehicle space, I see there there could be some kind of a, a profit taking or maybe a sideways action, uh, both on front of uh, Tata Motors and Maruti Suzuki. Uh, it's done its bit. I think uh, there'll be more of a consolidation. And two wheelers is something which uh, still looks good to me, Cheryl. So I believe uh, Bajaj Auto, TVS Motors, both these stocks uh, should do phenomenally well uh, after the uh, April sales number. Yeah. Uh, second sector that I'll bet on uh, is uh, or in this the pharma space as well. And then that has also been buzzing of late. Uh, look at the API uh, companies. Uh, they have uh, done phenomenally well, uh, be it a DV's lab or an Ipka laboratories. Uh, all of them have done phenomenally well. I think uh, the pharma space should also continue to do well. 
uh, Aurobindo Pharma from that space is definitely looking attractive to me. And I think Aurobindo Pharma still has uh, some more room on the upside. And uh, a couple of sectors which I still like, one will be the metal pack and the second will be the IT. Again, IT has been underperforming and post numbers, IT has underperformed as well. But there are pockets, I believe, uh, which will start to outperform from here on. So I'll stick with large cap IT names, uh, be it a TCS or a HCL technologies. I think both stocks look attractive to me at current levels and uh, can uh, show a similar kind of uh, up move, uh, or at least 10 to 15 percent, if nothing more from here on and uh, tech Mahindra will be the third bet uh, within the IT space. Uh, talking of metals, yes, that has shown a decent outperformance in the past uh, couple of uh, months. Uh, it's taking a breather now, but Cheryl, I believe uh, there is much more room on the upside in the metal space as well. Uh, so talking of some of the metal uh, names, uh, a JSW Blue Steel, a Steel Authority of India, and Alco, all three stocks uh, look very attractive to me, be it an aluminium or a metal uh, a steel uh, player, uh, all three look attractive to me, and I think uh, they will continue to outperform from here on. Uh, so these are some of the stocks, uh, again, which have been uh, recommended to our clients as well, and we still believe there is money-making opportunity lies in this sector still. All right, so those are the sectors that you're liking then, and what are the stock-specific ideas then, Aditya, that you're liking in this market? Uh, so I've got a couple of buy recommendations. Uh, Shell, one has to be from the pharma space because it clearly is uh, performing. Or when the pharma is, I've picked up for our uh, viewers today at current levels, uh, one can start initiating fresh long in the stock for a target of thirteen hundred on the upside with a stop loss at eleven twenty on the downside. Uh, the second stock is Astral. Uh, this is one stock which has clearly bucked the trend and has been making higher highs, higher lows. And uh, look at the way the entire uh, discretionary play within the real space, reality space has uh, played out. So Astral, I believe, is something which will continue to show uh, upside trajectory from current levels. I still see decent upside in the stock for a target of 2250, 2300. Uh, one can initiate fresh long with a stop loss at 2070 on the downside. Right. All right. Uh... Aditya, thanks very much uh, for your time today. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.